If you've ever been on the fence about getting marriage counseling, I want to share with you my own personal experience and the benefits that came out of getting that marriage counseling. So my husband and I have been married for over 14 years. Um, and the first six, it started off okay. And then it just kind of went downhill from there. And basically we'd been married six years and we got to a breaking point and we were just, we were desperate. We were stuck. We were frustrated. We did not know what else to do. And so in a last ditch effort, just because we had, we really didn't know what else to do. We reached out to a pastor at church um, and then met with him a few times. And then he actually ended up re referring us to a marriage counselor. And so we ended up going through marriage counseling for three years and it was the best thing we ever did for our marriage. And I know that marriage counseling can get like a bad rap or a bad stigma about it. Um, but honestly, I would recommend it to anyone. And here's why. Let me talk about the benefits that came out of marriage counseling. So benefit number one is coaching and teaching. You have someone who is literally helping you learn how to communicate, how to work through conflict, how to understand your spouse. If you think about like how we were raised, like I was raised in a home that did not handle conflict well. Um, my parents were not happily married and so they were not the best example of what a healthy, happy, thriving marriage should look like. So I was never taught the right habits or mindset or skill sets on how to deal with conflict, how to communicate, how to, you know, be myself, how to communicate my what, what I wanted, what I needed, how to explain my frustrations, how to show up healthy and um, engaged in a marriage, how to be vulnerable. I didn't, I walked into a marriage with none of these skill sets. And there's not a lot of information or materials out there that explain step-by-step step how to do these things. So when we started going through marriage counseling, we had someone who was teaching us in real time, in real life, through real fights, how to learn the tools to have a healthy marriage, to communicate, to work through conflict, to deal with conflict, to, to be, have productive conflict, to talk about the big issues, to be in unity together. I mean, it was real life tools that now we use all the time, but if we had never learned them, we would still be stuck. And so that right there, if, if you've ever been raised in a family where it's like, did, did they teach you how to fight? Did they teach you how to communicate? Did they teach you how to be vulnerable? Did they teach you how to, um, to work through issues? If, if you didn't have like legit coaching sessions on those different types of things, then having a marriage counselor help you through those things might just be one of the best things that you ever do. The second thing that helps, which is totally in line with that, is actually like them, a, a counselor will like help you like facilitate and mediate those conversations. So when you're working through those things and you don't know those skill sets yet, like if we're having a conversation, if we're, we're stuck in a fight, right? I can't even tell you how many times we showed up to counseling and we were in a fight and we had not been talking and we were stuck. So then we get to our counseling session and then that's the first thing that we do is, you know, the counselor's like, all right, what's going on, you know? And then we, he facilitated the conversation that we needed because we weren't at a place where we could get through that conversation on our own. He actually like helped us like, okay, you know, Josh, tell me about this. Amy, tell me about this. Okay. Do you hear what she's saying? Okay. Do you hear what he's saying? All right. Have you thought about this? You know, and in that specific real life fight, we had a person helping us facilitate through that 
so that we actually got through it. We didn't just have a fight, blow up, and then have all of this unresolved issues and conflict, which was our, you know, our MO from before. That's how we normally did it. We had somebody who actually facilitated us through those things so that we got to a point where now we can do it on our own, but we didn't know how to do it before. The third thing that we learned was actually having tailored guidance. So I spent time like reading marriage books and reading relationship books and and they're good and I recommend that. And you know, sitting in church and getting good sermons and getting good wisdom on marriage. But that's all very like uh, high level, big picture kind of thing. But being able to tailor it down to like, okay, these are my fears. These are my securities. This is my trauma that I went through. This is your fears, your insecurities, your trauma. Here's the specific issue that we're dealing with. And having a marriage counselor who could speak wisdom and guidance into our specific situation, our specific relationship, being able to get the wisdom and the the guidance we need for where we were at in that season was so helpful because all the books in the world and the podcasts and the videos and the sermons in the world weren't necessarily directly addressing where we were at, our specific situation, our specific problems. And so having somebody who was able to do that was just immensely helpful because we were lost. We were stuck. We didn't know how to get through it. We needed wisdom. We needed guidance. And we got that through marriage counseling. The other thing that we got through that was having somebody who had an unbiased perspective. So when you're like talking through something with your spouse, you know, both of you are emotionally tied up in it, right? It's like I'm emotionally tied up in my marriage with Josh and and when and I have these like emotional insecurities and fears and doubts and we're trying to work through something and he might be there convicting me on something and he might be like saying, "Well, you know, you are not able to be vulnerable with me." And in my head, because I know I'm emotionally involved and he's emotionally involved, it makes it harder to hear what he's telling me. He told me the same thing for years about how I wasn't able to connect with him. And for years, he was right. He was, he was speaking the truth. It was completely right. But I couldn't hear it from him. And it wasn't until I heard it from somebody else who told me that, that then I was finally like, oh my gosh, you're right. And you've been right. And you've been telling me for two years, but I couldn't hear it because there was all of these like emotional blinders that were keeping me from that. So when you're in marriage counseling, you're inviting a third party into your relationship and you're inviting them into, into all of it. And it's in it, and it does require vulnerability and trust, but you have someone who's not emotionally involved. And so when they're in the room with both of you, they're getting to know you, they're getting to know your spouse, they're seeing it from an outside perspective. And so that way, when they can challenge you on something, you know there's no ulterior motive. You know that they see the whole picture. They're not just hearing it from your point of view. They've heard it from your spouse's point of view. And if they're saying, you know what? Your spouse is right. Like, you know what? You, I see that you are struggling with this. It's like this check to be like, okay, like, like I have to receive that. I have to accept that. I have to be like, yep. If you, if my husband says it, you know, he's right. But like now it's been confirmed. Now it's been told by someone who's not emotionally involved or biased. They want the best for me. They want the best for my husband. They want the best for our marriage. And so I know that when he gives me this advice or he, he checks me on this, I know, I know I need to listen because if I don't listen, then I'm not ever going to really do the work 
and fix the issues that are causing all this tension and that are causing all this strife and they're causing my marriage to, to be this way. And that's not what I want. Like, I want to do the work. I want to be, like, I want to be humbled. I want to learn and I want to grow and I want my marriage to be better. And so when you ha just having that third party, you know, convict me of that, like it, it helped move us through that season. And then the other thing that happened through the, that counseling session is when you're in marriage counseling, you're not just getting counseling for your marriage. Like it's not a, uh, it's not a siloed thing. Like I got counseling for me, like, and then I, and that's actually through that process. I actually realized that a lot of the issues we were dealing with in our marriage, they came from our own deeply rooted issues that actually had started before we ever got married. I mean, these are things that come from how we were raised or from previous relationships or just from experiences that we have a lot of like a lot of the the anger the lack of vulnerability the trauma the um the the doubts the fears those 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 were planted years before we ever got married and so while i went to marriage counseling to focus on my marriage what i ended up realizing was that i had the time and the space and the guidance and the wisdom to focus on me and to really start to like peel back those layers and to really start to like unravel these things that had been just so deeply rooted inside of me. And once I was able to, to deal with my own stuff and to, to recognize it, to identify it, to like understand where it came from, to start to like really peel it back and put light on it then I changed me like I changed my mindset I changed my behaviors I changed how I approached my husband how I talked to my husband and then that's what changed our marriage it was like your marriage has to do with two individuals and like those two individuals like have to be like healthy and know how to like talk to each other and work through things and like the more whole and healed you can be as a person the more whole and healed your relationship can be and so I never thought that one, one I ever I never even realized that I needed it like when I showed up to marriage counseling I had no idea how much of a wreck I was I had no idea how much I needed help and guidance. But I knew my marriage was suffering. And of course, at the time, like I just thought that that was my husband's fault. But it really, I was like, that was such an eye-opening experience to like all the work that I needed to do, all the help that I needed. And those years gave me that time and it gave me that help and it gave me that healing which helped me work through those things and it helped him work through those things and then it helped us work through these things together. And so while it took a place of desperation and it took a place of like pain and hurt and feeling stuck to get us to a place where we went to marriage counseling and, and we were ashamed and we were you know embarrassed that, that we couldn't figure it out on our own. But then as I've gone through all those years and I've looked back on it I'm like man like we didn't we weren't taught how to have a healthy marriage we weren't taught all of these things like we were kind of like grew up like dealing with this pain and this trauma and so by going to counseling and like having someone teach us the tools we needed help us navigate through those conversations you know, show us how to do it. Give us that unbiased perspective. I'm like, man, like those are things that I am like forever grateful for. And I'm like, man, like I think everybody should do it. No matter, no matter the status of your relationship. Like a lot of people encourage like premarital counseling. I think everybody needs postmarital counseling because life happens and, and we have insecurities and we have trauma and we have things. And it's like, 
Think about it as a coach. Like think about it as a mentor. Think about it as just you are inviting some in, into your relationship with this person so that you can have the best possible, most life-giving, loving, intimate relationship possible. Because if this is the person that you are going to spend the rest of your life with, if you are going to raise a family with, live life with, build a business with, like whatever, like why not give it everything you've got? Why not invite all of the tools and the resources you can into making it the best that it can be, the healthiest it can be, the most life-giving, loving, wonderful thing that it can be? So like if you have ever wondered about marriage counseling, if you have questions about marriage counseling, like leave a comment below, uh, you know, what has kept you from it or if you've done it, what was your experience with it? I mean, I think this is something that there's a bad stigma around it and there shouldn't be.